The following trailer is rated H for honest. In a world full of games about serious moral and ethical issues, a video game savior will rise that sets all that aside and just let you chainsaw murder everything that gets in your way. Years of War 4. Return to the blasted surface of Sarah, a planet ravaged by three games worth of wars with nasty monster men, and discover the next chapter in the rich lore of the Gears of War series as you unearth the next looming threat that will probably threaten to destroy humanity and will definitely justify at least one more sequel. By crouching behind barricades and filling everything in front of them with 9 trillion bullets, which sounds like an exaggeration, but trust me, it's not. Strap in to the iconic football armor of JD Phoenix and Friends. A new generation of Gears protagonists that break the mold by being somewhat likable. Then join up with the Outsiders, a ragtag bunch of tech-savvy hill people that survive by raiding and stealing from nearby settlements, but are somehow still the good guys in the scenario, in their fight against the COG, a defunct military organization that somehow turned into a weird robot dictatorship, run by an angry librarian and her team of comically slow Cybermen, that ends up turning into a father-son action buddy comedy, until you uncover the true enemy that threatens to tear their fragile world apart. It's pretty much just the Locust again. At least this time they're... <laughs> nah, they're exactly the same. Immerse yourself in the tried and true Gears campaign formula, where you'll run into a room with waist-high objects, slam yourself against them, and proceed to shoot everything that runs into the room with an unreasonable amount of bullets, until you get the iconic clear noise. Okay, we're clear. A few quippy lines of dialogue. They're gonna mess up my f***ing tomatoes! And doors that take a while to open so they can hide the load times then run down the hallway into the next waist-high object room and lather, rinse, and repeat for nine hours until the game is over in a shooting experience that tells realism to go f*** itself and just gives you maximum bullets per minute. Experience the most visually impressive gears yet with spectacular moments and set pieces that will blow you away or at least hopefully will because not much else has changed because you'll still spend most of the game running into cover, turret sequencing, closing emergence holes with grenades, defending against waves, doing short vehicle segments, shooting guys with the Lancer or the Nasher, and generally everything that's par for the course for a Gears of War game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, am I right? Murder Chainsaw! Once you've conquered the campaign, cover yourself in the most ridiculous and annoying skins you can find and dip your toes into Gears' plethora of online modes, like Horde Mode, where you'll be let down by your terrible teammates, or Competitive Mode, where you'll be let down by your terrible self, until everyone remembers how to play the game and it's back to rolling and hip-fired shotguns forever. So rev up those gold accounts and get ready to create maximum mayhem, because Gears is back, baby, and it's Gearsier than ever. And maybe in a year of disappointments, that's enough. Starring Junior Durst, one of the Wayans brothers, Michelle Rodriguez with a beanie, Oscar the Grouch, Hillary Clinton, Blockbuster Dancing Babies, Skin Condition Sita, Gears Out for Harambe, Swiggity Swooty coming for that booty, Homicidal Chappies, and we're getting too old for this shit. Gears of Doors. Okay, is it just me or do we end up in Pacific Rim? Because that's friggin' amazing! Game of the year! Be sure to subscribe for more honest game trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. That's how I lost my medical license. I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Emotion is for the weak. Creamy memes, broken dreams. You have selected Exotic Butters.